What happened to Detroit? Long story short, factories moved away, then the middle class, the poor stayed, the police got cut, and things got bad. This is a very, very uh, difficult day for me, as I'm sure it is for a lot of our citizens here in the city of Detroit. Detroit is bankrupt, and other American cities on the financial brink, LA, Chicago, Baltimore, Philadelphia, should take this to heart. Cut public safety, and you're playing with fire, and guns, and lives. Detroit has a broken ambulance system. Too many people die waiting. So the mercy. My uh, uh, brother-in-law is having a heart attack. Okay. Thank you, please. Here we are. All right. This is 911 emergency. Your phone called and hung up. Do you have an emergency? He's going into a stroke. We need someone here now. Okay. It's been about half hour. Detroit is an arsonist paradise where poorly equipped firefighters work with substandard equipment. First, they took that 10% pay cut. Now they're going to be forced to work 12 hours a day. But most of all, things spiraled downward because the police were handcuffed with layoffs, pension, budget, and pay cuts. The command staff picked through backroom deals and bedroom politics. Chief, have you, have you turned the police department into Hugh Hefner's money patch? How bad did it get? Consider that there were the same amount of murders in Detroit last year, 333, as New York, a city with 12 times the population. Ironically, because Detroit is bankrupt, the Detroit police are doing better. Less money being paid to the creditors means more money invested in the police. And because the city is now run by a state-appointed emergency manager, the police department has been ripped from the bozo politicians upstairs. And predictably, crime has gone down. When your city is spending almost half of its entire budget just on legacy costs, think of what you can't do. It's not just a bankruptcy. It's also 436, the statute, which gives me authority to, for instance, issue the order, give the chief authority to work very quickly to free up some of the issues, deal with some of the issues the department's been in. Detroit's new top cop, James Craig, is vowing to cut crime on the streets. Moore hired James Craig as chief of police last July and gave him money for equipment and free reign to make over the department. His top priorities? Guns and narcotics. We rode along to see the new Detroit police in action. <laughs> This citywide roving unit is known as Tactical Response. They were put together two months ago. And in that time, these officers have had more than 200 gun arrests. Murder has dropped by a third. Shootings are down by 25%. I would say things are getting a whole lot better in terms of policing. You drove the car, right? Take a deep breath. Let it out. You feel better. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you. Uh, there are a lot of other issues that we had to uh, endure. Uh, I took a 10% pay cut, but uh, I'm dedicated to my craft. This is my profession. Crash is seven miles. Four black males armed with guns, silver 300. How many people in there? Tell them to turn it off. What's his name? Mass. Who? Mass. Spell that. M A S S. M A S S. Who fills with these? Who's Maria? They must have put the wrong label on. They put they put the wrong label on. This is what I suspect to be a f drug deal. It's quiet in the 205. What's going on tonight? Where can I find some crime? I smell weed. Do you smell weed? I don't. Oh yeah. I smell it now. Who got the bud, man? Tell me what you got there. Probably about 40 or 50 grams of cocaine. Good night. So hard. Citizens here, so long under siege, are happy. You know, we got these hard times, they say. <laughs> but as long as they're doing their job and stuff, man, and everything should get better. Do it in a respectful way. Yeah, of course. So you don't get the call to come and say, hi, you're doing a great job, I love you. But there are, most people in the city feel that way about us. Detroit police! A known drug location in an abandoned house on the east side. Stolen gas and power gives it away. Cops have hit it three times in the past month. Before the bankruptcy, they wouldn't have done that three times in a year. The dope man is catching on. He got gone fast. He left the gas on. Never this quiet on a Friday night. So this is exactly what we want. We're trying. We're trying.